four judges of each category, you take the three best score. Ah. So it's actually very difficult to even try to, even right, if you know who is going to be, because actually if you give, if for example somebody gives a, a good score when they're supposed to have a bad score, then this good score is going is to mean just a little, because you only take three out of four. So it's not one judge is a, is, has a, a say, really, you know. It's very, very difficult to win, and this is why we have never won. <laughs> and actually, actually, see, so if you see on this side, actually if you see that pink part here, this pink part is actually an added part of this one here. So these floats are so big that sometimes you have an attached part. Actually, if you see this part here at the top, there is a crown, and this is where Yvette Sangalo, this lady that all this team is about was supposed to be on. This crown that you see here, it goes up and down as well. It goes as high as the ceiling. Of course, you have to lower down to come inside those, 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 those doors. It goes up to, a, uh, uh, this one goes to uh, 10.5 meters high. And if you see the orange one that you see over there, that's actually a giant a head of a, of, of, a, of a dragon, of a snake. And it goes with the dragon that you see at the back there. We're gonna see it later. The dragon there, the, the, the forward space is actually the head that is here. So all of these uh, floats, there is a part that you attach to make sure that it's grandiose, it's fantastic, it's like a wow. You have to wow the judges in order to get the 10 points. Now, of course you're gonna ask me how do we create all this? Because it must cost a lot of money. Yes, it does. The city of Rio de Janeiro gives us, give each school, each year, out of the 12 years, each will receive $2 million. Oh. Yes, but that's not enough. No. To create a successful carnival, you need no less than four to $5 million. Each year, each school. So you have to make sure that you have a successful uh, carnival with that. What happened? So what it is, is that because the carnival is such a fantastic marketing platform, everybody wants to be associated with the, with the carnival with a, 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 a product, a city, or a person. Everybody wants to be associated with the carnival. So, every year we have a sponsor who gives us the remaining money, and then this sponsor will be the theme for this year. Of course, the theme, which means with decor, with costumes, with everything that you see. You're never gonna see the name of the sponsor on the floats. no. Oh. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a story about the sponsor. So this year, the story is about a lady called Yvette Sangaro. So what happened? The Carnavalesco sat down and looked at her life history. She's a beautiful singer. The, the dragon, for example, when she was young, her mother used to tell her a legend about a dragon. And inside the cave, there was the happiness of the people. But inside the cave, there was a dragon. And as a dragon, you wanted to get your happiness. The dragon would actually hit people. And then there was actually, you see next to the dragon, there's a, 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 a float with uh, the saint that come and save the people from the dragon. All of this is what her grandmother used to tell her when she was young. So there is one part, the first part of our story is to tell about this legend because she grew up listening to that legend and it was important to her and to us as well. So first of all, we have the legend and then we tell about the infancy, how she grew up. If you see over there, you see the children over there. You see that float with the children? That's her infancy when she grew up in the city where she comes from, Juazera, and then she moved to Salvador de Bahia. So we have a float over there that looks like the suite of Salvador de Bahia. And then afterwards, she, sing in a, in a, in a, in a, she started to sing in a group called Eva. This is another float that is over there, Olodum, which has the same as you see here. This is part of this Eva. Now this float, this one that you see the lady taking over the man, is like, you know, life history. <coughs> Eva, Adam and Eve, and of course women, that are in control of men. You see, as we all know, you know, women controlling men. You know that, of course, right? So this is what it is. So Eva in control of men, Adam and Eve, and you see. And then at the hand is uh, the, 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 the uh, celebrity status and the fact that she is in this new show called uh, 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 The Voice Brazil. So we had this part here. And uh, it's like a celebration of her life, in a way. So that's how the story